Hey guys, it's Charlie back again with My Everyday Life. And today, I have a package. So, I already know what this package is. This is the spin- uh, oops. This is the May Spinner Box by Spinner Box. Or, um, the, the owner of Spinner Box is also the owner of Stealth Spinner. Um, his name is Max. He's a very, very great guy. He, um does great customer service he has great spinners up and he's doing a great thing with the spinner box and i know most people have already seen what's in the spinner box for this month but i thought i should do my own review as well i feel like my reviews are different than most other people's so yeah first warning flashy leds potentially trigger seizures okay so here we have one spinner Awesome, we've got another spinner, a stealth fidget spinner. Got some candy. Sounds good, I, I like candy. I'll put these here so you guys can see it. Then inside the box you got a third spinner, so three spinners, a couple of treats to munch on. Got two cards. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing. And your review for 20% off coupon code. Sounds good. And then you just got a couple of air packaging. Uh, air bubble for package. Cool. So let's just take a deeper dive into this. This is just going to be a mini review. Each of these spinners, if they warrant their own review, will be getting their own review. Uh, put this on the side. I definitely suggest you guys start subscribing. I've been in the talks with Max and I know that he's got some pretty cool stuff coming up in the next couple months. He's got a couple of really cool designs that he intend to put into the spinner box as well as he's going to start putting in merch and other stuff alike. He's got stuff like extra bearings, spinner lube, uh, designed specifically so that you can lube your bearing but still have really nice long spin times because for those of you that don't know, spinners generally don't require lube. You want a dry bearing for the best possible spin and this sort of, this sort of um con this this sort of lube is supposed to help your spinner be silent uh while still having long spin times and having a smooth spin so one of the candy aside so like up here or something so good so we'll start off with the stealth spinner because i think this is the premium spinner for the box every box will have a premium spinner and then a couple of other things so it's a nice metal tin stealth spinners it's uh black laser choking hazard Got a nice, nice and tight. And here we go. So the my spinner box uh, came with the Stealth Aventator. He included either the Stealth uh, B2 or the Stealth Aventator, uh, Aven, uh, Aventador, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. But he did include uh, one at random, depending on person. Included an extra bearing. I believe this is an R188 bearing. I can just do a quick check here, along with one of my other spinners. Yep, it's an R188 bearing. It's a nice, comfortable foam packaging. Reminds me a lot of the foam packaging I got from Mackie. It's almost identical, actually. I, I want to say it's identical. It's just been... Uh, the lid is slightly different. So I'll put the bearing back. And we'll take a look at this spinner here. Take a look at this spinner. Very nice. So Aventador, very sleek up there. On the other side, it says Stealth. Very nice. Silver buttons. I would prefer black buttons. That's a personal preference. Got a nice spin it's got an interesting feedback to it interesting uh, let's undo the buttons here let's take a look so the buttons come out and you can see it's got a very typical retainer system just undo that so that you guys can take a look on the inside of the spinner here Cool. So you see it's black anodized brass. Um, I'll be sure to clean this bearing off before, 
for too much use. You can tell there's a little bit of wobble, but it's not too bad. Just gonna put this back on. I'm gonna give it a nice tight turn to lock it in. I'll put the buttons back on and we'll give it another spin. Yeah, before we move on to the other spinners. So overall, I really like this design. I, I like how sleek it looks. I like the feel. Uh, you can see there's quite a bit of play. The other bearing might have less play. I'll open it back up here. The other bearing might have less play. comparison here I'll just cut the video and uh, actually I might not cut it should have done this when I first opened it up I wasn't thinking so we'll put this bearing in the alternate bearing seems a little bit tighter no nope. no it doesn't So the alternate, uh, the alternate bearing seems to have less wobble, and definitely the spin is very, very smooth. Kind of hard to notice it spinning. Oops. The buttons are very slippery now that I've now that I've picked it up and uh, spin it a little bit. Very, very slippery. Yeah, you don't notice it spinning. Uh, versus something like the Mac uh, Trinite Spinner by Mackie. This one you very much notice it spinning. Uh, just a little quick size comparison here. Like I said, this will have its own in-depth review uh, with time. Now let's take a look at this. This is a very generic China spinner. Uh, nice aluminum. Like I said, very generic alum uh, tri-spinner. Uh, from China land he does 100% claim no clones and so I don't think I, I understand exactly what he's saying it's not a clone it's just a very generic China spinner that multiple companies will um, multiple companies have sold nice and smooth spin actually um, compared to this one which was also a China clone using the exact same bearing um, uses the same bearing uh, same weird metal bearing from that spinner. As you can see, it's like half shielded, half not, and like caged in a weird way. So that spinner is the same as this one, uh, almost identical. So R one eight eight one R one eighty eight spinner uh, bearing spinner. But this one's also very smooth, a lot smoother than I expected it to be. And honestly, it's very nice and light. It's a nice cheap spinner for you to give to your friends to, to kind of get them into the whole spinner, spinner uh, fi fidget community, rather. Now let's take a look at this. This is pretty cool. I've seen other people talk about it already. It's a, essentially an LED spinner. Uh, so very generic tri-spinner, um, tri-spinner design got a choking hazard there and I find that kind of funny epilepsy warning um, but yeah just got LEDs there and it kind of flashes as you spin it so that's pretty cool honestly that's pretty pretty funny oh this is just a sticker perfect and just take these off I'll clean up the residue and stuff later, but let's give it another spin. I think this will get a review on its own because I like the concept that it's just a generic spinner. The buttons on this one is not a screw. It's a nice little press fit. You can see it's a 608 bearing. something to knock out that bear uh, the other end of the cap can't seem to do it but yeah 
So it's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. It's a nice concept. Uh, this one's a. Uh, this is ABS, that one's aluminum, and that one's brass. So overall, I think for the first spinner box, I think this is pretty good. I think it's a pretty cool concept. I think there's a lot of good stuff. I know that there's going to be more stuff in the future. And I'm really excited. I'm going to continue to stay subscribed, and I'm going to continue to be in the talk with Max and see um, exactly what he has in store. Um, I'm not sponsored by him or anything, but I do intend to keep giving reviews and honest reviews. And I'll be sure to have a review of each of these uh, on their own in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please think of subscribing to Spinnerbox. And I'll be back with you guys with more videos soon.